What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know we just got some new family members added. So I'm Rich, this is my wife Ronya. Yes. And today we're gonna be doing the best free things to do here in Chicago. Let's do it. Let's go, let's save y'all some money and show you some fun things. Yes sir. So we are walking uh, a few blocks here to go to Chicago. Are you stupid or something? We're in Chicago. I know. <laughs> Okay, our first stop will be at Millennium Park. Now we know that this is real touristy, so we want to get this out of the way first. If you keep watching, we promise to have some other free spots on here you may not know about. We just took a few pictures in front of the bean. We got here early, so if you guys want to do the same, we highly suggest that you get here early so you can get some pictures without too many people in the background. Exactly. We don't know too much about the history of the bean, but we will play some fun facts um, you know, in this video once we locate them. Yeah. <laughs> Indian-born British artist Sir Anish or Anish Kapoor created the bean. The bean took several years to construct and was finally unveiled in 2006. And in case you're wondering, yes, you are allowed to touch the bean. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is crazy. What? I didn't know it looked like this. Yeah, this is different. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that would go away. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Babe, what do you think? Nah, it's different. I didn't expect it to look like that underneath, but yeah. um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it is cool. really cool. You guys definitely gotta check it out. Oh yeah. Where are we at now? We're at Crown Fountain. So gonna check that out. They see like a big waterfall-like fountain with so, faces. With faces on it. So let's check it out. See what it's all about. Just a few feet away from the bean, you will come to Crown Fountain, which is our second stop. Now, Crown Fountain consists of two glass brick towers that emit images onto these towers. Uh, these towers consist of a thousand images of local Chicagoans who have participated in this group study back in 2004 when the towers were established. The project took about $17 million to create, and if you're lucky enough to be able to capture every single one of these faces, please let us know in the comment section down below. And they are spitting out, babe. Look at that. That's a lot of, that's a lot of spit right there. A lot of spit, bruh. Look at us. <laughs> All right, you guys can also go to the Chicago Riverwalk. If you want to do a boat tour, you're gonna have to pay for that. But if you just wanna walk in down the river, just to kinda see the sights and sounds, that is absolutely free. Whether you're visiting or new to the city, the Riverwalk is a great place to meet new people. You can find people walking, riding bikes, and people watching here. In case you were curious about how much the ferry boat rides would be, we saw them as low as $20 for kids and $45 for adults. If you are very frugal like us, you can definitely take advantage of just walking the river walk instead of getting on one of the boats for a cruise. You can still get some really good views as well as take some really nice pictures here in front of the beautiful water. Really clean. Um, so we, we suggest you guys come and check it out if you ever come to Chicago for sure, without a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> The next option you can do that is completely free is just checking out the beautiful architecture here in Chicago. The buildings are so tall and there's lots of free art just on the sides of the road and the main streets. So you're able to just take a look and, and bask in the beauty. And speaking of beauty, look what we ran into while walking the streets. Okay, so we don't know what's going on, but we see a sighting, possibly yeah. a wedding. A wedding so we're gonna try to yeah. look because it looks real extravagant real and extravagant. elegant yeah. and just, oh. <laughs> They're doing it big. <laughs> Not the only ones that had to come take yeah. a look and yeah. just be in awe of how cool this is. Like so there's other, nice there's thing. other spectators here with us. So it's yeah. Really nice. Switching gears now to a topic many people enjoy or know about, and that's coffee. If you want another cool and free thing to do while visiting Chicago, you should check out the world's largest Starbucks. 
The Starbucks Reserve Roastery is five stories tall and occupies more than 35,000 square feet. The first floor is dedicated to souvenirs and interactive tours. There's also on-site roasting of rare and exclusive reserve coffee beans. Besides the coffee, there's exclusive drinks inspired by Chicago's culture and history and food options like pizzas, sandwiches, desserts, and more. The third floor is dedicated to the experimental coffee bar. The fourth floor is for specialty cocktails. The fifth floor has the rooftop deck. Made it to the top. On our next stop for the free things to do here in Chicago, Hi. we are at the Lincoln Park Zoo. Entrance is free. This is one of the last. Um, that that you um you had you. One of the last free zoos that you can get. Uh, entry into here That's in right. the u.s you just got random dogs walking yeah. i don't know you know what's going on with that but yeah <laughs> you know we're gonna, we're gonna see what this zoo is talking about what kind of animals they have here so let's go guys let's go lincoln park zoo was founded in 1868 making it the fourth oldest zoo in all of north america it's also one of the last few free admission zoos in the United States today. This is actually a pretty big place. We didn't expect it to be this large, especially since it was free, but this is literally a place you can come to and probably spend a couple hours here. You know, oh, yeah. out of your day, just, just look around and explore. And some pretty cool animals here too. So. Yeah. While we were checking out the camels, uh, we're probably getting ready to leave the zoo, but this zoo is really big. You're gonna need several hours to walk the yeah, entire thing. Big zoo. All completely free. They have things like caricatures and face painting and stuff like that that you can pay for if you do want to uh, indulge in those activities. But That's we right. highly recommend coming here to the Lincoln Park Zoo. Definitely. And they have a few places that you can grab something to eat as well. So yeah. yeah. All right. if you want, hey, but if you want to bring your own food, you can't do that too. No restrictions. <laughs> there you go. On to the next spot. Let's go. <laughs> The next stop is just about a block away at the Lincoln Park Conservatory. Make sure you check out the local artists that are painting and drawing the conservatory on your walk over there. Although the admission is free, reservations are mandatory, but you can make reservations when you get there by scanning the QR code at the counter. We're here checking out these beautiful plants. It smells so good in yeah, here it does. too. Yeah, it does. It's designed both to showcase exotic plants and grow the thousands of plants needed for use in the parks. What you said, babe? Right, so everyone's grandmother definitely had some of these hanging up either on the back porch, the front porch, or somewhere in the house. You recognize and you know what ferns are. So let's just check out this fern. <laughs> yeah. They are open Wednesday through Sunday May from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. There are four display houses here. The palm house, the fern room, the orchid house, and lastly, the show house, which is home to the annual flower shows. Left the fern room, they have an orchid room, yeah. and they have a pond with koi fish. I'm a big fan of koi fish. Koi fish and flamingos, that's, that's my jam right there. So we got to check out these koi fish. All right, baby, now what you say? Right here, we have the black ethereums right here. That's No, that's not how to say it, but <laughs> that's what I think. Ethereum. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's ethereum, but No, it hey. doesn't, it doesn't, but hey, it's close enough, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Another free spot you can check out is the Navy Pier. There are so, so many people so here. Many, so many people. Tons of people here. Uh, but it's still a, a nice vibe, nice environment. So you can enjoy it. Oh. Oh, no, I ain't getting on that. Uh-uh. I ain't getting on that. No, sir. <laughs> no. All right, so this gives me like Icon Park vibes, you know, like in Orlando. They have the Ferris wheel, the drop thing. I don't think they have like a slingshot or anything like that here. Um, they have the swinging swings that go up in the air, I think. We'll show you guys that as well. And um, yeah, a few eating places also. So let's go check it out. 
for all of our new family members that recently joined. I, you may not know this, but I am afraid of heights, so this is probably gonna be the only ride that I would ride here. <laughs> <laughs> There's some really great views of Lake Michigan as well. Also, some dogs barking, <laughs> but there's also like a little spot where you can catch like a free little like DJ session, catch some jams, they're playing MJ right now, but yeah, you just have a seat and listen to some great music. <laughs> Alright, so we got a nice surprise. We decided to walk all the way to the back of the pier and they're actually having the North American Lobster Fest here this weekend. Didn't even realize it. So let's go walk through, see what it's all about. Uh, super windy, but we are over here by the lake. Uh, but here at Lobster Fest, they got lobster tacos, lobster uh, sandwiches. Deep fried, stir fried, there's pineapple shrimp, lemon shrimp, coconut shrimp. Lobster fries, lobster sausages, lobster rolls, all types of lobsters. So, yeah, you never know what you're going to run into out here at the pier. Once we had enough at the pier, we went downtown and look what we found. There's like some music we hear. So we're walking to it because we think we might be able to get another free thing on our list, which is catch a free show right That's here, right. walking out in public. In the heart of Chicago. In the heart of Chicago. I think this is uh, Michigan Street. So we're gonna check it out. Yep. If soul music is not your thing, don't worry. There are plenty more different types of genres to go around. Miraculously, we plan to do these indoor free activities today right. without even knowing the weather was going to be bad. Right. So, um, yeah, definitely keep these indoor activities in mind whenever the weather is uh, not in your favor. <laughs> According to you, lot you're from <laughs> Chicago. Chicago, the windy city, <laughs> and uh, I guess the rainy city as well. <laughs> We're about to go into the Museum of Contemporary Photography. Let's go check it out. The Museum of Contemporary Photography is the world's premier college art museum dedicated to photography. They seek to generate ideas and provoke dialogue amongst not only students, but artists and the general public in diverse communities. The collection has over 16,000 pieces of beautiful art by more than 1,500 artists. The museum also aims to promote a greater understanding and appreciation of the artistic, cultural, and political implication of the photographic image in our world today. Okay, so we just 
left the museum of yeah. contemporary photography. Great experience in there. The it's um, super cool. artwork and everything changes, I think, once per quarter. So it's always going to be fresh new artwork there. So when you guys come back, if you ever come here next time, it's going to be a totally new set of artwork that's, you know, on the walls. So. Now, we know this video is about free things to do in Chicago, but since we saved so much money, we wanted to include this bonus footage for you. Uh, we went to the sandbox and you guys, it is a virtual reality experience. Again, we know that this is not free, so this is just a bonus clip for you. But if you have the time and you have the extra funds, make sure you check them out. Even get a video that you get to keep. Here's some clips from ours. Oh, shoot! And we just finished. I know I look a hot mess. I probably lost a hair tie. Babe, <laughs> We just fought some zombies, y'all. Look at all this sweat on we, this dude. We were, we were trying to survive. Joe. Nah. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Hey, would you do it again? Oh yeah, I would definitely do that again. Great workout, had fun doing it. As you see with this sweat, it doesn't even feel like a workout, but obviously we got one. It was fun. Yeah. Joe? Dang! Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You thought it was a game. It's not a game. Y'all y'all need to come to sandbox awesome. because this is the real deal right here. <laughs> Switching back to free things to do, our next stop is at MindWorks. MindWorks is the only space of its kind in the world where it's both a working lab and an interactive discovery center for behavioral science. We're focused on decision making and how humans make decisions. Uh, typically, each exhibit is tends to focus on that. So we have around seven exhibits uh, here today. Um, each exhibit is, has some directions for you to read, an activity for you to do and a reveal panel, which actually tells you more uh, insights about our research here today. Oh, and what was your name again? Uh, Tyshawn. Tyshawn, thank you so much. <laughs> MindWorks welcomes visitors to explore its interactive exhibits and museum atmosphere and take part in hands-on research studies. You can even earn free prizes just for participating. You get to see firsthand how behavioral scientists explore judgment and decision-making through controlled experiments. Eligible for one of the studies, but Richard was. So he is taking one of his studies now in this room. Babe, how's it going? Cool. I'm doing my study, guys. Doing my summer study. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be done soon <laughs> hey, um, they told me that there's also a uh, partner study as well. If you want to do that, we can do a partner study. I have your phone. We are doing our partner study right now. We don't know where to system, but we're about to get started. So. Yes. Just finished, and we actually got the highest amount of points uh, for our group partner study. So we're about to go see what prizes we can get now. When we finished our partner study, they said we had the most points of the day. So you get to pick from this wall, however many points you have. We just completed the study. We got like the max amount of points. So we got these tumblers. Yeah. We got two hats. Ronya got a hat. She got a tumbler. <laughs> I got a tumbler. We just got so much free stuff. We didn't even expect this. We just happened upon this place and got a lot of free stuff. So yeah. Mine Works. Uh, we'll put their um, their Instagram information and everything down yeah. in the description below. But yeah, it was a really, really cool experience. We had a great time. Yeah. Really great time. So we hope that this video was helpful to you guys as far as the free things that you can do here uh, near and around downtown Chicago. That's right. And um, 
make sure you hit that like and subscribe button join the For family sure. here do that leave a comment let us know what we should do next whenever we come back to chicago thank you guys so much for watching once again and, and until, until next, next time, time peace, peace. <laughs>